Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Last time we declared war on Italy for our independence. And this time we're going to fight that war. This guy has a total of 2,000 men. We have a few more than that. Got that army together. In this army together, I'll probably just march them over manually. And I'll get this army uh, onto Benvento. The war goal is for us to control all of our holdings, so it's fairly good. Oh, do we not have enough men to uh, siege that? I'm going to leave them sitting on there anyway. And my reasoning for that is I want them to, uh, I want them to stop anyone being spawned over there to seize those holdings. Merge those men. They can walk over to there. And they can sit on Benvento. Okay. If things go badly, I can summon a few, not summon, uh, spawn a few mercenaries. Hire. Hire is the word I was looking for. Uh, I could hire some right now. Let's see, how much money am I making? Nine gold. So, if I hire him, I am um, still in the... I'm still positive on money. So, I'll hire him. Oh, wait, where is he? He's all the way over there. Uh, you both go to West France and then head the way over. Has he called in any allies? No. Okay. Child lacks thing. That's son. So I want to educate him properly, probably. Um, or at least he'll, he'll give me opinion bonuses. I don't want to become Castilian. You? You. Perfect. Done. Important decisions. It's not an important decision. Right. I might want to go down there. Yeah, I'm going to go down here and uh, take that land back, actually. Put these in charge. You all okay at fighting? Yep. Uh, I just want to stop him from sieging that bit of land because that would take away our ticking war score. Force demands. Come on, you pansy. Okay. Fine then. We will continue fighting. We are still making two gold a month like I thought we would be. We have two armies that are double the size of his army, so that's good. Down there. Problem is, his vassals might join in, but we can live with that. Merge. March. Okay, we're fighting. And we won a battle. Perfect. You now go back to Benvento. And 9%. We took all of our holdings. Right. That's not what I was looking for. It's just a flesh wound. Okay, so that's a pot. Positive. I was going to say he has. Oh, he has an army over here. He has three men over there. Let, let, let's not call that an army. Right. We're almost at Provence. For at. Okay, so that's uh, just another one of these ones. How many men does he have now, actually? It's 4,000. He's leading men, leading troops in Portal. Oh, wow. So he dropped 2,000 troops over there. Um, need to decide what to do. Yeah, give me a second. This allows me to get a thousand men somewhere. Gonna move them all here. Drop them here. You're gonna go straight for the capital. Wow, oh, we have quite a high martial guy in charge there. The reason I'm going for the capital is I might be able to capture some of his family members, which would give me a higher chance of getting it. Of, uh,. We're just winning the war outright. Unfortunately, he appears to be doing the same. Can I put myself in charge of an army? Yeah, I'll put myself 
uh, partially in charge of this army, so he can't capture me. And we'll just keep going. We will lose all of our war score, though, the moment he takes a holding. Which is a problem. But he's all the way over there now. He's going to arrive on the 17th of October. So, one... Oh, he changed where he's going. I was going to uh, attack him the moment that he moved closer, but I guess that you must work that out. Come on, let me take a holding or something. He, uh, war is indecisive. Okay. Fine. Be that way. Right, we got Benvento. Now we're gonna go kill his army. He has... Still says the war is indecisive. I don't think it is. I think we're going to win. Oh! His army disappeared from over here. That means we need to worry. Anyway, merge the unit. Embark army. We're going to go over here because it's... Um, he can't be attacked from like a, from sea very easily because it's inland a little bit. So we want this army to uh, have more reinforcements. So I, I might march this army up here and start sieging next to it. Just in case. Right. Merge, you are going to there. Disband the fleet. Check. It's not over there still. Do you want to surrender? Come on, you pansy. Okay. Will do. Right, attack that. Did he call someone else into the war? No. Who are those? Just a random army that decided to sit there. Okay. Fine. Oh, do we still have some uh, prisoners from our, one of our wars previously? Oops. Uh, let's release you from prison. I'm fine. Oh, she, she's actually quite. She's actually quite fond of me still. That's really quite nice of her. We got a claim on Rome. Good. Oh, there's the army I was uh, thinking might be around. We're just going to siege up here. Uh, Leon Tias. Fine. Uh, this army is fairly weak, actually. Once we siege the first level in Pavia, we might come down and fight it. Uh, I'm just going to sit you there. Just now. Fifty percent. Come on, you pansy. Okay, will do. Stop. Oh, okay, good. Aquitaine's attacking us. Not really good, but they're attacking us because they can. Because we're now independent. So we're gonna have to do things quickly. But on the positive side, looks like we will win this war. A destitute noble from a former enemy court asked for permanent hospitality. Uh, well, we need our gold, so we'll just take the parity. Maybe that event leads somewhere else, but I don't know. Lost charitable. Shame. Uh, I'm just going to charge here. Right. You want to surrender yet, king? We're at war with two different kings, so... No, it's, it's not a situation you want to be, really be in for very long. 67%. I'm losing, but I won't give up yet. We're going to go back to Pavia. We're just going to siege it and take everything we can. Uh, we have given up on the courtier. Was she a lover or something? Maybe. Okay. Fine. Ooh! An army. Oh, he's going to friends. We'll chase him. Oh, we lost a really good chance, sir. Okay. Uh, you can be our new chance, sir. You start fabricating claims on... Uh, 
not Santiago. Okay. Giving us reasons to attack our neighbors. Oh, D. Oh, oh, oh dear. Get out of there. Nope. Spoleto on the 29th. We're getting out of here on the 28th. We are cutting it close. Sixteenth, we're getting out in the eighteenth. How's the it's all planes? Right. <sighs> this isn't good. Can we get here quicker? Ah, we can get here on the eleventh. Okay, we'll get here. Let's try and cut past him. Oh good, he's, he's just going for our land. That's fine. We will lose Ticking War score from that, but... I'd much rather lose Ticking War score from that than uh, lose my entire army. To the 10,000 stack. So, you know. Go wing for Pavia again. We're going to stop him taking it back. Oh, did he just assault my holding? Okay. Rebels still control everything, no? Which is good. 60, uh, 75% will just win this battle, and I think we might actually win the war then. How many is it? 87%. Wait, what? We can't enforce demands because he controls our holdings. He gains the Duchy of Sardinia. What is the Duchy? What? So if I was to create the Duchy of Capua, that would control those two. I give him Sardinia. Or is it for everything? Uh, so he'd get that, that and that. Duchy of Capua. Sardinia is now... Only that, maybe? Yeah, okay. I can now surrender, give him that land. Something else would become my primary title, that doesn't matter too much. And then he would... Right, and then we can kill the rest of hit this army. Okay, so we're about to lose the land we started the game with. Oh? Wait, which one else? He also got Portical. What? That wasn't part of the war. How did he get that? No, oh wait. Oh, wait, no, he, I got Portical. Okay. That makes more sense. I thought he'd somehow got this, and I was like, what? Anyway, whatever. We're now the Duke of Portical. A uh, new chaplain. You be my chaplain. We're still we're winning this fight. We can enforce demands. Right. That was exciting. Now I need to figure out what to do. Do we still have... Yeah, we still have seniority succession. So, he is in line after this guy. We want to kill this guy. Can we plot to kill him? Yes, and we have 400% plot power. So, I'll just do that. That's fine. Actually... Oh, this guy's still on the job. I was thinking we should send him to try and change the, uh, the culture. I think he can do that. No, he can't. Okay, fine. We'll do that then. Anyway. Oh, we got a huge Italian revolt. Which is fun. This guy is trying to take my title. Uh, he's trying to take my title. Um, I'll bribe him. 
Right. How's this plot doing? 215%. I thought you said we could get like 400%. Let's try and get this. We want this done ASAP. Ideally we don't want to spend too much money on that and I'll show you why in a second. What else? Educate child. We're going to educate you with you. You're a good educator. Right, can we kill this guy yet? Just waiting for the guy to die. Gonna speed everything up. See how that goes. Oh, we can disband this army now. Wait, what do you mean only that many will be able to return home? Oh, maybe their home no longer exists. I suppose. That's fine. Yes, we're going to kill him. We got some more tech points. We can now upgrade economy tech. Then we're going to go for city tax. Okay. Uh, okay. He revealed my plot. That's not great news. Assembled a party of mercenaries who will ambush him. Okay, good. Ambush him, kill him. God, we've got another miracle person who will avoid all attempts at being killed. Uh, anyone else want to join now you've heard about the plot? Nope, not really. Offer obviously went away very quickly. So many. Oh, I think another Italian revolt popped up from whoever offered it, which would explain it. Come on. Just waiting for a gap. Waiting for these people to uh, drop dead. Poisoned wine, sure to work. Oh, and a viper. Oh, and a manure explosion got him. Okay, perfect, he's dead. My heir is now the king of Aquitaine. Now what we do is we pick the most powerful person in the land with money. So, unfortunately, Carpathia would be powerful, but he has no money, I think. Actually, do we even need him to have money? I suppose we don't. Don't know whether you get an event. Okay, we're just going to pick Carpathia. We're going to try and assassinate him. And now we really hope that we get discovered. Flout my name. Perfect. Now, hopefully, he'll send an assassin back at me. Receive marriage between the King of Asturias and my niece. Okay. Fine. She doesn't have any claims, so that's absolutely fine. Uh, who else could we try and kill? We can kill a Carling. Carling, perfect. Assassinate. Oh, I, I'm on no one. Fine. <sighs> we will make this guy disappear. I'm trying to kill myself. Can I, can I go on a grand hunt? When's the hunt? Uh, September. Okay. Ideally, I want a really small war and I'll just go put myself in a losing place repeatedly, but I don't think I can do that. Oh, I could declare war in this Italian revolt. How many men does he have? More than I do, maybe. A little bit more than I do. Okay. 
Uh, I'm planning on not ending the episode till I die, so... You know, I better make it quick. I'm not gonna die this episode. Hmm. Oh well, I guess I'll end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and next time we're gonna try and kill myself. See you then.